and welcome back to this video series where we're looking at building our own application using UPS API. In this video, we're going to look at actually making our first request to the API uh, to get back some of our data. So if you head on over to uh, postman.com slash downloads, um, this is the tool we're gonna be using for, for these examples just because it gives us a nice clean GUI. Um, so you can use the curl commands to, to, to go through any of these examples. And in the documentation, we'll actually have the, the curl examples there. Um, but if you want to follow along with the videos, you can download Postman, which just gives us a little bit of a nicer interface. So to do that, you just click download and then step through the installation uh, steps. So once you have Postman downloaded, it's going to launch and it'll give you a slightly different splash screen to what you'll see on my screen. Um, it'll probably ask you if you want to log in. You can click to uh, to not create account an account down the bottom if you would like. Um, and then we can just close this launch pad. So I'm just going to put this on the left and this on the right, and we're going to create a new request. So clicking this plus will allow us to create a new request and we can create requests of different types. So we'll need to find out what kind of request we're making. So in the uh, up documentation, you'll see here, there's this part called URL structure. So this is gonna tell us how we should actually structure our requests. So every request is gonna start with this base URL. So api.up.com.au slash API slash version one. Um, if I paste that in here, and then we have a look at um, the account section, cause that's what we're going to uh, be making a request for. So you see this says we're making a get request to slash accounts. So we need to make sure that this says get, and then that we're going to slash accounts at the end of that base URL. If I click send, uh, can't actually see it when it's that small. If I click send, um, you'll see that we get this 401 not authorized. Um, so this, this is hopefully expected because we didn't actually pass across our author authorization uh, headers as we did in the previous video. So uh, I've still got my token page open, so I can just copy it from here, but it's likely that you probably have closed it by this point um, and moved on to something else. And so if you haven't actually copied this uh, access token, you can't actually get another copy of it. So once you have generated a token and it gives you, um, you get to see it on this screen, that's the last time that you'll be able to see that token. If you do uh, forget your token or, or not copy and paste it somewhere, it's super easy to create a new token. And as we said in the previous video, it will revoke any previous tokens before that. So if you just step through the same, uh, get your personal access token steps and scan the QR code, you'll be issued a new access token. So as in the previous videos, we need to pass this across as an authorization header. So we could come across to headers and actually add authorization and, and our token, um, but Postman gives us a little bit of a, an easier way to do that. So under the authorization tab, we can click uh, bearer token because that's, that's the type of token that we're using. And if we paste the value in under token, we can then make that same request, but this time we'll get back our actual data. So you'll see here that we get an array of accounts. So this is my first account, which is my transactional up account. Um, it's in AUD currency, um, doesn't have very much money in there. <laughs> Need to fix that. Uh, and the uh, savers account, which has zero. So I'm, I'm doing very poorly at this point. Um, cool. So if we then wanted to access a particular account, so this gives us, so the slash accounts gives us all accounts that we have. If we come back to the documentation, you'll see that we can also make a request for just a particular account. So if we make a get request to slash accounts slash a particular ID, then we'll be able to get back um, just information about that one account. So I'm gonna create a new request just so that we can keep a track of all these different requests in case we wanna come back and run uh, one of the earlier examples. So when you click the plus, you'll get another get request. Um, I'm going to copy across this whole URL. I'm going to make sure that I have my authorization header um, as bearer token, and it's filled in my token there, which is very convenient. And then if I come back here, I can either grab my ID for my up transactional account, or I can grab my ID for my savers account. So if I grab that and paste it onto the end of uh, the endpoint that I'm requesting, this is going to make a request for just that particular account. So now when I press send, you'll see that I just get back that one account. 
Awesome. So in the next video, we're going to look at how we can make a request for our different transactions for a particular account. See you then. Thank you.